All right, hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Dog. Um, <laughs> I uh, hope you've all been having a good evening so far. Um, oh yeah, I'm your host, Simon the Shepherd. And here we are, we are pretty much at the end of Final Fantasy VII. Um, I did wind up doing enough gr uh, grinding that I defeated Emerald Weapon. It was possibly one of the most boring battles ever, though. It was basically just spamming Knights of the Round over and over again uh, until, uh... <laughs> and already we have people saying, beat Sephiroth already so we can watch Final Fantasy VI. Um, wow, we know what I'm here for. So, um... First thing we're gonna do is just, uh, pop everyone's materia off. Oh yeah, took me this long to realize I could, you know, swap materia between party members this way. I am not an observant man. Anyway, on the bright side of all this, I was able to, uh, you know, get some of that sweet, sweet master materia. I've got three master magics, uh, two master commands, and uh, two master summons, I think. Well, there's one of them. Anyway. Arrange. There we go. Oh, screenshot. Let's add the screen, or let's uh, add the uh, actual game. That might be a good idea. Thank you. Okay, so just going to clear off everyone's stuff for random terrible things, just because I don't know what else to do right here for the time being. You know, obviously, Cloud. We are going to put. The Ultima Weapon! And the Mistile and a Ribbon, because that's probably the best stuff we can do for him. You know, um, best protection, um, protection against status and everything like that. Now, as far as the rest of the party goes, though... Alright, so, who are we going to swap in here? Some things to keep in mind. Um, Barret's ultimate weapon scales with how much AP is, con is attached to the materia on it. Tifa's weapon scales in attack with limit break, so Tifa is staying way out of the party. <laughs> uh, much as I adore Ketchi, his limit breaks are not really that predictable. Well, mm -hmm. His limit breaks are not the most predictable. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep Cloud in there. He's a pretty decent tank and healer, uh, with how I've wound up building him up. Um, I may actually... Okay, so we've got... Yeah. So, Sid and Barrett are good heavy hitters. We've got um, Yuffie, who's a decent thief and speedster. And Vincent and uh, Red 13 are, I guess the best way of putting it is, uh, actually they're pretty decent mages. Um, especially because Red 13's ultimate weapon increases with uh, hit how much MP he has. I'm trying to remember. Um, Clouds increases with his HP. Yuffie's increases with the level of her enemy. Barret's increases with AP, so you have to be careful which materia you attach to it. Vincent's increases with how many things he's killed which, uh, unfortunately, I mean, unless you want to sit and watch him grind for a while. Yeah, uh, all input is welcome, of course. And I think Ketchi is another of the MP ones. I completely forget what, uh... Or actually, wait, is Sid's the other MP? Oh dear. No grinding, so that's Vincent not uh, in the party. Oh, 
let's see here. So, we can have... Uh, so. Cloud is unfortunately required to be in the party. So we have... Uh, Yuffie, Barrett, Sid, and uh, Red 13. Let's see here. Um, so we've got Barrett. Yeah, let's do this. Um, Cloud, Sid, and Red. Nice variety of characters there, huh? Um, okay, so we are going to equip them. He's got his Ultima Weapon, Mistile, and Ribbon. He's got... Okay, we're going to swap out his Scimitar for his final weapon, the Venus Gospel. Adamant Bangle for a Mistile. And, of course, a Ribbon for his accessory. Oh yeah, so it turns out this is another <laughs> translation botch, the Spring Gun Clip. As it turns out, it's the Spriggan Clip. Uh, Spriggan being a uh, mythical creature, I think, out of uh, Celtic mythology? I'm probably wrong, but anyway. So his final weapon is the Limited Moon. He gets a wizard bracelet, and of course, a ribbon. So, how are we going to equip everyone? Fun times, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I think first thing I'm going to do is... You know, give him a... Uh, Bahamut Zero... Elemental combo, because that's always fun. In fact, everybody's getting some kind of uh, elemental combo on their... Neo Bahamut. So you have Bahamut Zero, you have Neo Bahamut, and then you will have... Actually, instead of Bahamut Zero, let's give you Ultima Elemental. That should be fun. And then you can have Bahamut Zero and... Where did the rest of the elements go? There we are. Okay. Okay, um... Okay, so, Ultimate Elemental, and then we're also going to give him the, uh, Phoenix Final Attack. That should be fun. And we'll also give him... Here's where the fun parts come in. We go Master Summon... And all summons absorb HP. And then also we will give him... Hades. Or actually... We'll give him Hades on the weapon, because that will be just all the more fun. Um, you see, when we give him Hades, wherever it went, Shoot. 
Hades, where did you go? Where are the Hades? Hades. Hey, Uberata. Let's see, Hades, and of course, added effect, because we're just going to have so much fun with that. Um, let's see. Phoenix, final attack, Hades, added effect, and... Let's also give him... Knights of the Round. Let's see. That's HP Absorb, so Knights of the Round will also give MP Absorb. He's just going to, like, be a, a massive MP suction hose here. Uh, yeah, as long as we're here, uh, let's also give him a... Master Magic. Quadra Magic. Um, let's see. see, what else can we put in here? Oh yeah, let's give him one of the enemy skills, and... Manipulate, death blow, morph, throw, sense. <laughs> double summon, because honestly, let's just be all kinds of horrible. Uh, double summon, double magic, and... Oh yeah, let's also give him long range, so that he can still hit from the back row. So yeah, he's going to be a little bit overpowered, I think. Okay. Since he's going to be our hard hitter, let's give him... Actually, let's also give him long range, just for the heck of it. Uh, long range, counter attack. He doesn't really need that much magic, although flunking a restore on him just in case might be a good idea. Um. Let's arrange that a bit so it's easier to go through. Um, give him a master command and pair that with a... Uh, added cut. Steel as well. There we go. Um, restore, and we will give that an M the uh, MP Turbo which I really failed to level up much. I'm going to regret that probably, but oh well. We'll give him the uh, double cut, which we will... Uh... Oh yes, sneak attack double cut. That should, that should be fun. Um... And in fact, instead of steel as well, we'll put added cut on that. Or actually, instead of... Uh... There we go. A double cut HP absorb. That should be a fun one. Um... <laughs> Give him also double item. I already gave him counterattack, right? Yes, good. Okay. 
Mega All might be interesting. Long range. And Joker lore, enemy lore. On the bright side, uh, at this point, it's highly unlikely for us to need any more. Um... There we go. Give him an HP plus and a speed plus. And I don't know what else to put on him. Yeah. There we go, HP and MP plus. And finally, on Cloud. We'll give him a uh, Hades added effect, see if that helps with anything. Uh, we have... Um, so, I have given Master Magic and Master Summon to Red 13. And I have given a Master Command to Swear Bear. I am saving some of the other Master Materia for um, the backup teams when it comes time uh, to face the different things. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, I guess. Rearrange that. Give him shield. Oh, yeah, Swear Bearer. Um, <laughs> they all have kind of silly names for the most part. Um, give him one of the smaller restores, I think, just for the heck of it. Um, Oh yeah, restore all, that would be useful. Um, let's see here, shield, all, and then I'm going to give him three delightful pinkies, uh, cover, counterattack, long range. Preemptive. HP plus. And a luck plus. Sure, why not? Okay, so... Okay, now that we've gone through all of that logistic mess, let's just take one last quick look, make sure everybody's got a bunch of stuff. Good, 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 good. Then let's save. Here we go. Alright everyone, it's time to... Okay, so, commentary as far as the Materia system is concerned. There are some things I like about it. I especially like the ability to uh, take things back out of their sockets. Um, like, Final Fantasy X was nice for being able to um, customize the weapons but you couldn't take something out if you made a mistake. And also, you know, if you had a one-of-a-kind uh, customization thing that you can only get from stealing from the, you know, from the rarest steal from the rarest monster, it was kind of nice to be able to just not... Oh, sweet jeepers. Thank you, Swear Bear. That, that was beautiful. Um... You know, 
if you may, if you had a one of a kind customization, then you could only use it on one person, and everyone else just kind of had to sit there on attack or something. Um, you know, the downside with the materia system is that, well, call it an up or a downside, whichever one you want to call it, but you still had, you know, you lost a certain amount of customization, or not customization. You lost a certain amount of individuality from the characters. You know, any character could do any job, which was nice, I guess, but... Um, you know, sometimes it's nice to actually have a character who, you know, like... You know, instead of just being like, well, here is my magic user character, or here is my character who has been through Magic Academy, and I have fitted him with nothing but combat buffs for some reason. Um, I think if I were to design a game, I would probably go with something along the lines of... I don't know, like... Have the ability to craft customizations like in 10, but the ability to socket and remove them like in uh, 7. You know. The trained wizard would be the one who could use magic most efficiently. Maybe some other characters could pick up a couple of spells, but not cast them as well as the uh, wizard could. Look at all those nines. Yeah, but uh, whichever character you preferred to have the, you know, say, HP bolstering ability would still have the HP bolstering ability. If that makes enough sense. Oh, sound is kind of... Oh, right, I had the sound turned down a bit, didn't I? Um... Uh, is that a little better? Yeah, I had the sound turned down a bit last week because of all the people on the call and a couple of people had uh, not the best mics. Here we go. So, down we go, further and further down, 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 should you be down. Let's see, head on in through here. But yeah, I think if I design a game, I would do kind of a hybrid like that. Uh, like, you know, thinking at it like you've got, um, Eight, where you had to junction to learn anything. Which again left you with the problem that most characters didn't really, uh. Most characters wound up not really having a, um. Not really having a distinct personality that way or a distinct style. Like the most they had was their limit break. Uh, kind of the same thing in Seven, really. Yeah. 
And from what I remember of playing 9, that was, um... <sighs> 9 was... well, I mean... Well, actually, the difficulty with nine was that you know you had everyone in their uh, you know in their uh, personal classes and everything. The problem was that to learn new abilities, you had to fight with a bunch of armor. You know, learn everything from your equipment, and if you had a really long, difficult to learn item, and you're just stuck there grinding as you're like, okay, okay, I'm really, really trying to learn a thing. You know, and that was, you know, like, you know, I have to use this kind of unwieldy weapon because nothing else will allow me to, uh, you know, learn Cure too. And actually, Six kind of had the same problem, because everything varied depending on which Esper you had equipped. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I am quite happy with the ability to kill a Tonberry in two attacks. So, here we are. The point of no return. Past the point of no return. Okay, so. All right, this is the last dance. Well, shall we get going? We finally made it here. Hmm. Being with you all isn't so bad. Ooh. Let's just get this over with. This is it. Feels like we made it as far as we can. Alright, point of no return. Let's get going. Alright, everyone. Let's mosey! Did you seriously just say mosey? Stop saying it like a wimp! Can't you say move out or something? Okay, move out! What? Look at the number. Aw, oh, shit, they're coming out in full force! Ardent, you go first! Okay, I'm going alone. Oh, shut up, it won't do us any good with everyone back here! Bird is right. You take two of us with you and go first, the rest of us will catch up with you later. Is this like a practice run before the final battle? Yeah, a major practice run. I'm fine with that. Probably more fun than meeting with Sephiroth down there. Mm, this might be fun to pass the time over. They're coming. They're already on the floor next to us. Hurry! Hurry up and make up your mind! Yeah, we're good. All of you! Later! Yes, later.
Okay. Time for the fun music. Jainova. Oh, what even the crap? <laughs> what is that thing? I guess we'll never know. Ooh, Iron Giant. I'm guessing. Oh, Iron Man. <laughs> oh my gosh, that felt awesome. Oh yeah, also... Ah, dragon zombie, okay. I will say, I do kind of actually really enjoy this song, at least. Um, yeah, it gives you a feeling of just how frantic things are. Alright, so here we are. Where are we? What the hell? Genova? Uh, um, what? It's coming! Hey, dude. Well, I didn't mean to take it out quite that fast, but there we go. I may have overleveled slightly. Uh, 
This is where it gets philosophical, I think. A light? Is this... Is this light holy? Oh! Oh, bugger. Birdie. Hold on, so everyone's together again. Ah! Uh... Sephiroth! Is this Sephiroth's power? My body? I can't control my body. Whoa. Ah! Oh! My, my front legs! My, my hind legs! My tail's about to rip off! Oh, this is definitely not good. He's way out of our league. Ah, uh, I don't know if I can... Go on! Is everyone just kind of swimming? Ah! Oh. Oh, I didn't! Oh, I didn't! Uh, ah. There. It's there! Oh, I didn't? Holy. Holy! It's. It's there! Holy materia is is shining! Gwen Stacy's prayer is shining! Holy... Gwen Stacy! It's not over yet. This isn't the end yet! Three groups. So, our main group will consist of Cloud, Sid, and Red. You're all equipped as best we can be. Okay. Okay, second group. of Barrett, Tooth, uh, actually, Barrett, Yuffie, and Ketchi. So here we go. Pile banger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Missing score? <laughs> Mistile. Let's give you the uh, escort guard, lightning, water, and poison. Okay. Actually. Ooh. Yeah. Tetra Elemental. We'll give you the. Instead of the Rising Sun, we can now. Oh, yeah, so Oritsuru, she actually fights by throwing a paper crane. It's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, Conformer. Wait. Zedric decreases all element attacks by half. Oh. Materia. She'd probably yell at me. Fire, cold, gravity, holy. Sprint shoes. For you. HP shout. Armlet and the tough ring. Okay, so Barrett requires mastered materia. Um, well, he doesn't really require it, but it really boosts his attack powers a lot. Sneak attack with restore. Wait, no. <laughs> Put it all on 
on that. Sneak attack with... Sneak attack with slash all, that should be fun. Cover. Counter attack. HP plus. Yeah, let's give him Alexander. The Hamlet Elemental. Enemy skill. Yeah, what else did... Eh, long range he already has, basically. This is the tricky part of all this. <laughs> I like how Sephiroth is just patiently waiting there while you get all your material north. Yeah, admittedly, that's kind of useful, at least in the sense of... Golly, I don't know. He's just like, take your time. It won't matter. So let's see, enemy skill... This last one will go. Uh, slash all, and let's instead go with I don't know, steel as well. Counter. There we go. Actually, for uh, not Shinra here, let's go with Master Summon. HP Absorb. And then we'll specifically link... Oh, Typhon is Master. Hey Ziggy and Josh. Um, yeah, let's swap out Alexander for Typhon for you. So that you can summon Alexander. And she where did it go? Ah, MP absorb. There we go. 
Master Magic. Let's take a moment to arrange that, because, yeah, it's getting really spread out. Forgetting what to do here. What if we go Ultima Sneak Attack? There we go. these somewhat empty materia. There we go. That should do the trick. Yuffie, what are we even going to do with you? We'll start with enemy skill. Mime. Throw, I guess. Steel isn't really going to do anything at this point. Um, slash all. Plus. Let's give her Choco Mog just to really mess with everyone. Um, like, I seriously am not sure what to do at this point. Eh, well, actually, I'm throw slash. Now let's swap out throw for sneak attack, and then we can put throw here and steal as well. Added effect of, I don't know, mystify, seal, transform. Won't do much, but hey. Uh, revive. Oh, final attack revive, that would be fun. Um, you know what, why not? Underwater. Just for the sake of it. Appears to be our Oh, duh. Okay. 
And our third team consists of Tifa and Ilu. So, Tifa with her premium heart. Yeah, admittedly, I still don't actually know what this Rata refers to, but okay. Uh, okay. Cartoon, Chowder, where that's all one of the characters can say. Okay, well, good to know, I guess. Um, sir, there we go. Master Magic, MP Absorb. Did I equip her with? Oh, Fury Ring. Um, maybe don't. Counter with Manipulate. Sure, why not? Thank you. 
honestly don't know what to put on the last bit of air. Actually, we'll put double cut, HP absorb, counter attack. Also HP absorb? Sure, why not? Okay. Let's go, everyone. Stop hitting us! Not only Gwen stays here, holy is the prayer of Avalanche, of Marlene, and Dine, and everyone on the planet. Gwen Stacy is here. Everyone's here. Odin's here with us. There's still a lot for us to do. I'm not giving up. Gwen Stacy's memories. Our memories. We came. To tell you our memories. Uh... Come, planet. Show us your answer! Also, by the way, coming up is another hilariously bad translation. And Sephiroth! To the settling of everything! So, Bizarro Sephiroth is actually supposed to be Sephiroth Rebirth. But no, we get Bizarro Sephiroth. Wait, is that another self growing out of his head? That appears to be another self growing out of his head. Oh, whoops. Did that do a thing? That is seriously another head growing out of his head there. Rebirth energy! Time to make things hilariously overpowered. Um. Oh, wait, did we just... Oops. Um. Uh... <laughs> And he's already dead. Oh, here it comes. So, fun fact, most of the lyrics to this song are taken from the Carmina Burana, which is to say, uh, a book of medieval poetry written in Latin, Old French, and Old German. Yay, in comes the high wind.
esto. Esto sin curiosidad de mantis yeah, seething inside with ultimate or with vehement rage. It's like you know what? I can quote medieval poetry too. Check this out. Juan that April with his hour of sure as sorta, the draughts of March hath pierced to the rota, and bathed every vein in search of the core, of which virtue engendered is the floor. Yeah, you know what? That's when you can suck on my giant buster sword, Sephiroth! <laughs> He's got wings for legs, and I can only assume crab mouth things coming out of his groin. Yeah. <laughs> So, one-winged angel is kind of a bad translation. It should be angel with wings on one side. Oh shoot, everything's quadra magic <laughs> and double magic. This, this this is this might have been a mistake. Yeah, there's six wings down on the bottom, which would be seraphim. Oh, whoops. So that, I think that might actually be the end of set. Oh. Um. Well. This form is Sephiroth's deviant art phase. So, um... I think I may have overleveled. Well, that's all we could do. What? What about Holy? What's going to happen to the planet? That? I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. We've done all that we could do. Alright, everyone. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud. Uh, what happened? Ah, uh, I feel it. What? He's still here. Ah, uh, still ardent. He's laughing. Ah, ardent. Uh... Too much live stream exposure. Oh my gosh, is this what Aerith feels like all the time? Felt like. Whoa! Dude. 
it's so beautiful. I can feel the planet. I. Hello? Oh, uh, no, 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 get him off, 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 get him Hello! I'm going to beat you down in mommy's name. What? Let, let's just... Let's just get this over with. Oh my gosh. I am so done with you, Sephiroth. Just... Just... just no. No, 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 stop, shut up, no! No, and finally... No! Ah. Uh. You made a man out of me. Ah. Uh. Is this Oh, hey, live stream. It's uh, been a while. Um, yeah, so, um, are you Aerith? Wait, wait, what, what's with the red stream? Whoa, hey, um, oh, oh, oh gosh, oh, oh, li live stream? Am I an ancient now? Uh. Aerith, where's the rest of you? There's just a hand. What the fuck, Cloud? Wake the fuck up! Oh, um... Ah! Uh, ah! 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 I think I'm beginning to understand. What? Answer from the planet. The promised land. I think I can meet her there. Oh, yeah. One armed pull ups. Yeah, let's go meet her. Hey, uh, where is everyone? They, they went running back up to save- Hi! Oh, I'm glad you're all safe! They all seem to be safe, too. Uh, but now, what are we going to do? Holy should be moving soon. And that means this place will- Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now! And they all died, the end. Wait, what the- The high wind?! Um... This wasn't in the script? When suddenly a giant bikini babe!
Meanwhile, in, uh, I think that's Calm? The flower girl. Midgar was evacuated, right? I I'm pretty sure it was. But still. That's not the flower girl. So apparently Meteor arrives and it just kind of tentacles Midgar. When suddenly... Holy appears and says, Nope. Meanwhile, at Cosmo Canyon, which should not be able to see this at all because it's on the other side of the planet, but... Uh... going to happen to Midgar? We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. But the way things are now... Oh, it's too late for Holy. Meteor is approaching the planet. Holy is having the opposite effect. Forget Midgar. We have to worry about the planet. What's that? We can't let Meteor destroy Midgar. That's Barret's job. Please, Meteor, if you're gonna destroy everything, let me see my school get blown up first. What the hell is that? Lifestream. Is Meteor an ancient? All the children of the world open their eyes. It's coming. All right, everyone. It's time to pray for the tentacles of our dead ancestors. Everyone, together, if we only believe, then all these tentacles from all over the world will come together and penetrate Meteor. And is this some kind of birth reference? Um, I. Live stream? Uh, oh dear. And Aerith just says, All according to plan, man. 
All according to plan. Well, there we go. That was Final Fantasy VII. Um... I, um... Mixed feelings. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. Or, well, no. Of course I won't leave it at that. There's more credits I need to talk over. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. I will say it was definitely a product of its time. Um. There, there was, um. Oh, I don't plan to gag dub six. I will not gag dub six. That one, I like six. <laughs> you know, um, you know, seven had its it had its moments. Um, I mean, who can forget? Um, who can forget Tifa and Scarlet having a bitch slap fight on the top of a cannon, and. Um, and of course, that immortal line that everyone will remember from Final Fantasy VII. Sh sit your ass down and drink some goddamn tea. Uh, and at the same time, that was a lot of really pointless minigames. Uh, oh my gosh. Just random snowboarding. How about uh, Mario Kart, but with chocobos? Um, then you've got... Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, what else? I mean, like... The squats competition. And the, uh... Cross-dressing judgment. And, um... And what was that bit? I, I, I mean, like... I don't know. Oh. And of course everyone... Yeah. Oh, yes, Condor. <laughs> Fort fucking Condor! Oh, wait. <laughs> Fort fucking Condor! I really glad we'll never go. Oh, it keeps changing key! <sighs> but I mean, you know. Yeah, that. <laughs> I mean, just like some of the characters had some interesting concepts to them, and I think part of the issue that they ran into was, you know, but like <sighs> apparently they were trying to deconstruct a bunch of tropes that because most people in America hadn't played the previous six games, they didn't actually uh, see what those tropes were that were being deconstructed. And as a result, you'd get this really skewed... <laughs> um, uh, you get a very skewed uh, perspective of these things. It is lovely to hear the uh, prelude, though. <laughs> One of Nobu Uematsu's masterpieces right here even if it is kind of midi butchered right now. But, you know, nothing's perfect. Um, you know, I'll admit, I like the Materia system in a, in a couple of senses. Um, not necessarily the part where you have to grind forever to get any use out of the bigger ones, but um, I do like the ability to add and remove um, slotted augmentations to a character. Um, and I like the fact that I was pretty much able to leave the characters I didn't really care for off to the side for most of the game, except for, you know, any of the parts where they became mandatory. 
Although I think maybe a better solution would be to make the characters likable in the first place. Maybe that's just me, though. Um... Localization by Michael Basket. Now we know who to blame for things like Alemania, Spring Gun, and, uh, you know, this guy R6. Quality Assurance Manager, Jonathan Williams. Have a look at some of these people who, uh, may have had some issues with their job. Mike McHale, also of Quality Assurance, Corey Fong, Clayton Palma, Eric Adams, Jeremy Hunter, John Arve, Matt Miller, Mike Gilmartin, Mike Schmidt, Rudy Ellis, Timothy Moore, and Tom Marks. These are at least some of the people that we can blame for things like, well, like again, this guy are sick, Alemania, Pilebanger, The Vagilisk. All I'm saying is, usually the Vagilisk would be a, uh, you know, would be a monster in an H game, not in Final Fantasy VII. But there we are. Five hundred years later. Five hundred years later, they have all evolved into pure energy and are flying through the clouds. Oh, wait. Hey, it's Red! And he has puppies! I'm not sure by whom, so I'm just going to assume that he, uh, virgin birthed them himself. Tiny little Nanaki. Nana babies! Hoppity hop 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 hop. The planet has recovered, and cranes fly over the uh, forested ruins of Midgar. Everything the light touches will be yours. What about that shadowy place? That's Midgar. We must never go there. <laughs> Everything the light touches is an ancient. <laughs> uh, almost all of Nanaki's friends are dead. There is still Vincent. And there we go! We have completed Final Fantasy VII. Um, there we are. I mean, we're about a half an hour, uh, or well, <laughs> an hour and a half early, so... And already we have people begging for FF6. Oh boy. Um, so let's see here. Well, if we're going to do FF6, then a couple of things I'll want to do. Let's see. Achievement unlocked. Fat Lady Sings. Well, if we're doing FF6, then I'm going to have to change a few of these images around. Um, let's see here. Swap that around for... Do, 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 do. 